Hey everybody, this is going to be another Fat Life vlog that I'm going to do. It's on Fat Life. About the age group of people and the demographics and the groups of people who are better versus the ones who are not. Now, I consider myself MTF trans. I'm on the spectrum, the MTF trans spectrum. Uh, I am on the site. I don't talk to any young people like 20s and 30s and 40s. I don't really talk to them. Because they're in their own little world usually. They're not that friendly. And that's the PC type of crowd I think that are on there. And even if some older people are more like Democrats on the site. I would say they're better than the ones that are younger. I mean I just think with the older crowds on the FetLife website. The older, the older crowds on the site are... Um, a better if they're in the MTF uh, spectrum. Like 50s, 60s, 70s, late 40s. Fuck sakes. I live at home, too. And I've been trying to move out. I've been looking at places in felt like to move out. I hate living in close proximity with my mom and stepdad here. I fucking hate it. I can't stand it. I want my own place, and even if I gotta go out of state, I'll friggin' do so. I hate living here, in Portland. I, I just hate this place so much. It's worse than all these other stereotypical cities you hear about that are boring, you know? You know, like, hey, you hear the standard cities like Omaha, Kansas City, or some places, OKC, just some cities that people think are very boring, you know? Right. Portland is that boring and more. So. But a lot of fat life is in Portland too. So I think that that topic fits. Um, I have some fetishes for damn sure. I have a foot fetish. I have necrophilia. No, I'm just going to buy it to necrophilia. But, um, but no, for real though. I was going to discuss the ages of people. Now, I find straight people and LGBT people, 20s to 40, are usually not good to talk to, in my opinion. The bisexual male, 40s typically, maybe some 50s, is most of the demographics for the 40 bi male, or 40s to 50s. And then you have the older trans people from the civil rights era that are trying to keep the community alive, it seems like. They don't go to the, the gatherings of people where they're clicky and all that. I find that the older people don't deal with the clickiness of the young people. And they just kind of do their own thing, you know. They'll meet people if they talk individually sort of thing. Whereas the younger people... Oh, we believe in the hazing, at the gatherings, with the drama, and with the clickiness, and the snobbiness, and the, which is something I never wanted to do on that. I like meeting people individually on FetLife. That's what I like to do on that site. I hate the idea of going to some big gathering to socialize, because you're not going to bring home phone numbers, are you, of people? You're not going to bring home tools to help you succeed, are you? You're not going to bring home connections from those events that help you succeed, will you? Prove me wrong. I'm 40 years old, and I can't fit with my social demographic on, on that site. I do with the older people on there who are trans, but not the young people. I don't find people very helpful on that site, for the most part. Then you try to talk to them and be honest with them, and they block you out. So fuck them, too. Fuck them, too, as far as I'm fucking concerned. I got dragged out to the West Coast. I've been trying to move ever since I got here. My stepfather loves Oregon. I hate it. My stepmother, I think, tries to appease him by saying she loves it. And she's willing to buy a house here with him. But but it's been downhill since we moved to this rental in the Portland metro area. And I've been trying to get out ever since. I would have hoped to have moved with some trans people or ever I could find them in this country. But 
I haven't been finding them in Portland because a lot of people are snobs. There might only be just a few old, old people who are in the trans movement who are nice, but I don't really see that in Portland. It seems everyone's younger in Portland and they're just, they're of that millennial mindset. Or they have little kids. It's like I hate this whole young kind of thing. People in Florida might complain about the old people being around, but I would much rather live around old people than these young sons of bitches. I'll tell you that. I would rather live around old people. Honestly. This is the Fet Life Nation I'm talking to right here. I talk to the older people on the site. I don't like the young people. Couples, singles, straight couples and singles, bi women who are single, not a good demographic. If anyone is a good demographic, just these two groups, listen carefully. The older MTF people from the civil rights era and bi males in their 40s, baby. Um... The FTMs, not a lot of them are older, I find. And there's some manly looking women who are older. They don't identify as trans. That's what I find. And there's not really that many older, elderly, genetic women on there. The elderly people are the trans women, is what it seems like to me. And if there's anybody MTF, you know, FTM, I mean, female to male, they're in the millennial, social justice, politically correct crowd. Now, I'm not a Trump person, but politically, I don't see Donald Trump. I'm more like a conservative who doesn't like Donald Trump, if that makes sense. Um, and then you got other liberals who hate Trump. So, I think FetLife is a non-Trump website. If anybody is Trump on there, they're probably in their 20s and 30s, and they're probably in a couple, and they probably go with all the rest of the FetLife young nation on there that I complain about, no matter their political views. Just the young group of people on there who are not that friendly, no matter how they vote, you know? Kind of like that sort of deal. Um, but no, I got some nice things. I ordered some slippers that don't fit me, it turns out. Does anybody want these sent to them? I, I could put them on eBay and sell them. I got these um, XL slippers. Do these look XL? They don't look XL to me. Tell me. Do these look XL? Anybody wants these on FetLife? Let me know. <coughs> or on here. Just bid on my eBay. I'll give you my eBay link if you ask, all right? This is a, a private channel where true fans are uh, welcome to come. And I'm going to give you my eBay if you're interested in them. I will put them up. They don't fit me, it turns out. Do these fucking things look like an extra large, too? Do these look like an extra large? It says extra large. I would say if you're a size 11, these would fit. If you're a size 10 or an 11, I think these would be ideal. 10 or 11, I'll go with 10 even. These don't fit me. Look, I take a size 14 women's. And this is what happens when I put them on. Okay, look, they go around, but they're very, very tight. And, uh, and my toes curl in here. They're very tough to walk around it. I mean, I can do it, but it's tight. It's quite tight and not too loose fitting. They're not that comfortable on me. So, if anybody wants those, let me know. I got some things here. I got pocketbooks. I got new clothes. I got some stuff over here if anyone's interested. You know, who are into the cross-dressing stuff. Let me know. I'll sell them to you. Alright. So with all that being said. I'm going to talk to you all later.